Dismayed by the popularity of Ready Steady Go, in 1964 the big guns at the BBC launched a counter-attack with a simple format based on the pop charts. It was to run for the next 42 years. Wednesday, January the 1st, 1964, 6.30 in the evening, live. First band, Rolling Stones. Presenting Top of the Pops alongside Jimmy Savile were fellow DJs Alan Freeman and Pete Murray. Produced by the BBC's Light Entertainment Department, Top of the Pops may have looked like a party on screen, but behind the scenes, it was run with military precision. You used to have to go to Lime Grove on the Wednesday morning and record live. And you actually sat on a bench with all the other acts that were on Top of the Pops, queuing up. So you sat next to the Beatles, who sat there with their guitars, and they actually called you up next, the Beatles. They plugged their guitars in somebody else's amp, and they would be given two takes on an eight-track machine, and that was it. And then when you went to the Top of the Pops studio in the afternoon, there were marks on the floor, and you weren't allowed to move. You know, so no matter how big the Beatles were, they were incredibly well behaved, and the Rolling Stones, because if you weren't, you weren't on the show. In the early days, it was a party every time. And I insisted that the audience was as important as the groups. And so I would get a bundle of records and give a bundle of records away for the best dancers uh, or the best outrageous clothes. I declared them in. The audience felt part of it, and all the teenagers felt part of it. We've got here some of our good friends from Islington Green Secondary Modern School at Old Marble. She says she's shy, this one. This one's shy. You're not shy. Say hello to your mum. Hello, mum. All right, mum. Say you'll say hello to your mum. All right, then. I'll tell you what I'll do. For everybody at home, ladies and gentlemen, how about the Alan Price set like this? By 1966, Ready, Steady, Go had gone, and Top of the Pops was really the only sort of pop show on television, because don't forget, there was still only the BBC, ITV, and I think maybe BBC Two. So any discerning youngster who had any interest in music would sit on a Thursday night and watch Top of the Pops. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Top of the Pops. People lived and breathed that show, you know? And you could just see it in the people's eyes. They were singing along with everything. My trouble was I loved them all. I loved all the groups, because it was such a heady atmosphere. And people were there to cover for the Macintosh Parade, the rather naughty gentlemen who liked to watch them, and we played to them. 